Hello guys, this is Prashant from MyLandQ. This is the lecture in the continuation for binary codes. So in this lecture, we will see one very important and frequently asked topic is com self complementary codes. This is a topic called self complementary codes. So to uh, start with this this type of codes, uh, we will see uh, first its definition. So in this type of codes, suppose we will see first definition and then we will see the example. The code of nines complement of the digits are complement to the given code it may seems a bit complex but it is easy to understand see the example suppose you have x and we have x based on some number system representation it could be anything let's maybe 8421 code 3321 code and like this so we have some representation we have some representation suppose this is the representation of x now if we flip the bits or digits in fact the bits or digit if we flip these bits or digits then we will get now this if this number if this resultant resulting representation or resulting code represent nines complement of x represent nines complement of x then such such representation or such coding representation is called self complementary code this is the very simple thing. self complementary code that means in very simple definition you have a number x that is this is represented suppose this is x this is x so and it is built over some code 8421 and like this now flipping 0 by 1 and 1 by 0 you will get some another code now if this code if this is x and if this code represent 9's complement of x that is in another language 9 minus x 9 minus x means every digit of x subtracted by 9 this is the 9's complement of x if this representation this code represent 9's complement of x then such codes are called self complementary codes you will see some example Suppose based on 3, 3, 2, 1 coding system, I am writing 3. Suppose 3. How will I represent 3? This way. Now, writing this one, writing this one, flipping this 0, flipping this 0. Now, based on 3, 3, 2, 1, what is this code? 3 plus 3, 6. And which is actually the 9's complement. That means, if this is x, then this is what? 9 minus x. Hence, this system 3321 or you can say this code is self complementary code. Self complementary code. This is the definition of self complementary code. So, I am giving you this simple example. Now, before going into deep, let's see access 3 code. What are access 3 code? And why, why we are we say access 3? Why we don't say access 4, access 5, access 6? So, let's see the example. Now, I am writing a table, a matrix 8421 code and this is access 3 code. Let's see what is this. 0, 1, 2, 3 and this way. So, as you know, this is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 and so on so forth. This is 4. Now, access 3 code is actually 8, 4, 2, 1, code plus 3. That means 0 will be represented by 0, 0, 1, 1. Then 0, 1, 0, 0. This is 1 will be represented by this way. Actually, this is the representation of 1. Now 2 will be represented by this one. That means in binary representation of the number add 3, you will get access 3 code. Now one question has been asked in previous gate. Uh, or I will put it in, in this way. What is the speciality of access 3 code? If you keenly observe, this is 3. 
this is 4 sorry sorry this is 0 this is 1 in x is 3 this is 2 in x is 3 so from here you can see 0 0 1 1 plus 1 will give you this now 0 1 0 0 plus 1 will give you next number and we know such such code such code are called sequential code such code are called sequential code so that means access 3 code is sequential code one more thing suppose i am representing a number in access 3 let's suppose 3 4 2 i am representing 3 4 2 in access 3 so how will i represent 3 0 1 1 0 4 0 1 1 1 2 0 1 0 1 now do its complementation do flip every single bit 1 0 0 1 then 1 0 0 0 then 1 0 1 0 and what is it in access 3 what it represents it represents 6 in access 3 it represents 5 in access 3 it represents 7 and if you keenly observe if you take the 9's complement of this number you will get 7 here you will get 5 here you will get 6 which is nothing but exactly this number Hence, from here we learn two concepts that access 3 is self-complementary code also. Access 3 is self-complementary code. So, access 3 code is the only code which is both self-complementary as well as your sequential code. So we will not go into deep uh, study that why it is important, where these type of access 3 codes uh, used but for the sake of gate you must know that access 3 code is the only code maybe some question have been asked like this that among all these four codes which code is both uh, self complementary and sequential code so you must blindly you must answer access 3 code okay now the next is next is bcd next code is binary coded decimal binary coded decimal so in binary coded decimal actually each digit the first first see its definition binary coded decimal and decimal you all know we have how many digits in decimal 0 1 2 3 up to 9 so we have representation of each of these decimal digits that means for 0 0 0 0 0 for 1 0 0 0 1 and for 9 1 0 0 1 that's it that means we have if we, this is important to understand that we have only nine valid digits nine valid digits so corresponding to these nine valid digits we have nine bcd codes representing from 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 to 1 0 0 1 that means in bcd if someone give you this number so this is invalid this is invalid it represents nothing it represents in 8421 it may represent 12 but 12 is not a digit in decimal number system in decimal number system that is base 10 we have 0 to 9 valid digits so that's why in bcd each of the digit we have only digit 0 to 9 and each of the digit is coded by its binary representation that means 0000, 0, 0, 0 to 1001 apart from all these we means 1100111111110 all are invalids these all are invalids bcd so if someone ask you that in terms of memory in terms of memory if someone ask you in terms of memory which is better binary or bcd binary you all know 8421 code so 8421 code or BCD, which one is better? So here comes an example. Suppose I am I'm going to represent uh, some number, suppose 568. 568, I want to represent it in BCD. So how I will represent 0101, 0110, 1000. That means how many digits it will take? Exactly 12 digits or 12 bits, sorry. 12 bits. In case of binary, if I will represent it in case of binary, its representation would be like this. I have computed it a priori, you can compute. So it represents 568, which consumes 3 plus 3 plus 4, that is 10 bits. 
That means in terms of memory, if question has been asked this way, in terms of memory, which is better, binary or BCD, then you will clearly answer that binary takes less space as compared to your BCD number. Okay. Now one more important term is uh, if you come came across this term, what is packed BCD? What is packed BCD? You know from digit 0, 1, 2, 9, you have represented this way, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 1 and 2, 9, 1, 0, 0, 1. If you are representing BCD representation for number greater than 9, suppose you are you want to represent 56 in BCD, how will you represent? 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Such representation, that, is, that means any BCD representation of a number greater than 9 is called packed BCD. Is called packed BCD. So these are called packed BCD. Now, one important concept uh, related to BCD is BCD additions. Many a times question has been asked uh, corresponding to BCD addition. So, see, if I add 5 plus 3, if we add 5 plus 3 in BCD, it will be represented by this way. It will be represented by this way. And when I will add, it will give 8, which is a valid BCD, which is, which is a valid BCD. Now, if I add 7 and 6, 7 will be represented by this in BCD and 6 will be represented by this in BCD. And if I will add these two numbers, it will turn out to be, in case of binary addition, it will turn out to be this and we know this is invalid BCD. In binary it represents 13 but in BCD it is invalid number. And the last case. Sorry. So in the last case, I will show you that the first case is very, I think, must be clear to you. And uh, in this, in the first case, we have seen where all these BCD is valid. In the second case, invalid. And the last case is uh, if I will add nine and eight. Suppose I am going to add nine and eight. Nine is represented by this one, and eight will be represented by this one. And if you will see, it will turn out to be this. So this part represents a valid BCD, but actually this whole whole number is representing 17. And in in BCD, the corresponding representation of 17 would be 0, 0, 0, 0001 and 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, which is not sorry 0, 1, 1, 1, which is not equivalent to this. Hence, it is also an invalid BCD. It is also an invalid. BCD. So there are two cases. If sum, if sum of A and B, we can say if sum of A and B is great, less than equals to 9, then it is your valid BCD addition. Valid BCD. And in case of sum is great. Now there, there are two cases. For invalid, there are two cases. If your sum is greater than 9, but no carry, but no carry. Then in that case and if sum is greater than 9, total sum is greater than 9 and there is a carry. There is a carry. So once carry is not there, carry is there. So basically all together is if sum is greater than 9 then it is invalid BCD. Then there is invalid BCD. So what to do in case of invalid BCD sum? Very simple thing is C 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have these valid VCD from 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 0, and this will go to up to this G, 1, 0, 0, 1. And again for 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, these 6 representation are invalid numbers are invalid BCD. These are invalid BCD. Now suppose you want to add 6 and 7. 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0 and 7 is 0, 1, 1, 1. You want to add these two numbers in BCD. Actually it will give you 13. Just try to understand what, what I am going to do. It will give you 13. That means what? This 13. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means the, it will give you this 13. 
but we know this is invalid so the very very intuitive way very intuitive way to get the actual answer actual answer what should be the valid bcd corresponding to 13 is it should be like this way 0 1 1 0 sorry uh, yes no 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 0 0 1 1 and 0 0 0 1 this is the final correct answer and which in binary represent 16 plus 3 that means 19 which that means 19 would become when we add 6 to here when we add 6 to here that means we have to add we have to add 6 to this invalid result to get the valid result and why why 6 that because of these 6 invalid bcd numbers in between that means we have to bypass we have to bypass these 6 numbers which are coming in between that that gives us the final trick that whenever you get invalid bcd whenever you get invalid bcd sum just add 6 to the result just add 6 to the result just add 6 to the result to get valid bcd sum it, it may be a little bit complex uh, to understand but if you if you see it uh, a little bit calmly pause it replay it again you will understand i am repeating it again very simple concept i will i will wait 0 1 2 and till 9 it is valid and what are the invalids 10 11 12 13 14 15 so these six numbers are invalid bcd so whenever you want to get the correct result you you have to bypass these six these six numbers that means you have to add plus six that means you have to add six to the result to bypass these six numbers this is the concept you have to bypass this many times means i have seen so many students they just mug up these things they just mug up that you have to add six why six this is the this is my explanation please try to understand why we are adding six because we want to bypass these six numbers so see one example from one example we will see if i want to add six four one and three five nine in bcd so six will be represented as this one four we will be represented by this and 1 will be represented by this again 3 will be represented by this 5 will be represented by this and 9 will be represented by this we start when you will start you will get 1010 0, 0. clearly adding here it will give you 1001 0, 0, 1. 1001 0, 0, 1. and here it will get, give you 1001 0, 0, 1. clear now the very simple thing is this is valid this is valid but this is invalid it is representing in binary 10 which is invalid bcd so to get valid bcd you have to add 6 to this i already told you what is the reason to add 6 to this when you will add 6 to this you will get 0 0 0 0 and one carry there is one carry and again i have already told you whenever there is a carry there is a chance you get some invalid things this carry will go here and you will get now 1010 0, 0 here and 1001 0, 0, 1. again this is 9 good this is 0 good now this is representing 10 which asks which asks you to add another 6 to get valid one so 0000, 0, 0, 0 this will give you 0000 0, 0, 0. now here a carry will be generated which will go here and here you will get 0000, 0, 0, 0 and 1 this is 1 and now it is 0 it represents 0 it represents 0 it represents 0 and it represents 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 actually what this number is representing this is 1 this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 and which is your correct answer 1000 in bcd so this way you perform bcd addition in next lecture we will see something about non weighted code which is very important for the from the point of view gate and this is called gray code by then keep learning thank you